So this is actually not a lake here. Although, it sure looks like it. It's not. It's actually a huge tarn. Uh, part of the Timberline Tarns. I think the other one's on the other side of that. But I should... Uh, I think it's just over that little hill there. I will uh, run into Saddle Rock Lake. But it is beautiful here. And you know what? I've noticed something interesting uh, today. There are a lot of Asians on the trail today. I mean, I see Asians you know, on the trail, but there's been a lot today. It's kind of interesting. Well, I reached Saddle Rock Lake at 2.15. Let's view a bit through the trees there. It's breezy, it's warm, and there are clouds. I'm just trying to charge up some stuff before uh, before the sign goes up, is covered. And I'm going to be setting up my tent here in just a few minutes. I'm just resting and eating and drinking. This lake is so pretty. Looks like a storm is coming in. I better hurry up and so, get my water. I got my tent set up and I actually changed the camping spots too. Uh, and I got water and it is now sprinkling. <laughs> so uh, they forecast a chance of rain in every day that I'm going to be out here. So could be very well every day. But uh, I started at 9,700 feet. Almost 98, I think. And uh, I'm now at 11,128. And I know the altitude's definitely affected me today. I am... I am so tired. <sighs> <sighs> and yawn on cue, apparently. Um, man. You know, my... Both of my trekking poles, which are brand new, they're both not having, they're, they're both defective. So, I can either make them too short, or make them too, too long. <laughs> That's not very helpful. Um, so, and, uh, you know, of course my, my straps broke on my pack. Which I have repaired. I may have to. I may have to retighten one of them, but they seem to be working okay. And my, I know my shoulders are going to be sore. I believe I'm going to be a little bit sore too, because uh, I haven't hiked in a little bit since you know my last big trip in July, the 75 mile one. And if you haven't seen those videos, go look at them. Uh, go check the, the playlists. Uh, it's there. There's some really awesome stuff in there, and dangerous things too. But um, anyway, I'm. I could go to sleep right now, but it's only 326. <laughs> but I, I, I want to go to sleep, but I can't. I need to make dinner too, but I probably won't do that for a little bit, for another hour and a half, two hours. So I'm just gonna rest, try not to fall asleep. <laughs> you know, it's funny. Uh, before the last video clip, when I started sprinkling, I was like, well, God, if it's gonna rain, can I at least have thunder? <laughs> and sure enough, I just heard thunder. <laughs> I've also asked him uh, to allow me to see bighorn sheep. Uh, I've never seen those in the wild. I would really like to. So we'll see if that happens too. But yeah. So. Thunder. Heck yeah. I love hearing that thunder. So, the mosquitoes are definitely out here. 
Uh, I saw clouds of them, but they haven't really been all that aggressive, thankfully. They, some are trying to get in my tent. But that's actually not why I'm wearing this, though. Uh, wearing this actually helps me keep a little bit warmer. <laughs> so, I just needed a little something to keep me just a little bit warmer, not really warm. So, yeah, that altitude has really affected me. I took a 30 minute nap and I woke up and I was uh, feeling nauseous and stuff but I got it to go away thank god so I'm just gonna I'm getting dinner di ready right now and hopefully hopefully I can eat it all there's a mosquito in here that needs killing but yeah so that's pretty much it okay so it's uh what time is it hang on it is 2120, which is 920, and uh, I'm going to be going to bed now, which actually is really late for me, but I met a couple of really awesome uh, neighbors, um, Elena and Allison, and I will remember those names, <laughs> I've, been trying to remember, I've been trying to remember them, I'm not so good with names a lot of times, but eventually I get it, but, uh, and we've just been talking and hanging out, and um, swapping stories and oh it's been great we i think we've been talking for over two hours <laughs> and it's been a lot of fun and i made a couple new friends and uh if they're watching this video thanks for uh for letting me use your polls because mine apparently are defective um and uh definitely had a great first night up here and I actually saw stars, which normally I would be asleep before now, but uh, we were just having such a good time. So, they're headed out tomorrow, and I'm headed over to, uh, over Bishop Pass to Ducey Basin. No, not Ducey Basin. That was the original plan that didn't work. Um, I'm headed through Ducey Basin to Leconte Canyon Ranger Station, where I will spend the night. So, that's what I plan to do. It looks like I have five potential river crossings. Although I, I uh, probably will be able to get across at least some of those without having to get wet. So, the mosquitoes have been uh, a bit annoying tonight. They're definitely here. <laughs> They're not as aggressive as, say, Vidette or um, other places that I was just at recently in my last uh, trip. But, they're definitely here. And I've gotten a few bites. <laughs> but, uh, I hear Ducey Basin's kind of bad for mosquitoes, but... Uh, Thankfully, I'll just be hiking through that. So, I'm going to go to sleep now. Wake up at 6. And, uh... Well, we'll, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Good night, guys.